there. So my name is Kelly and I am the newest uh, investigator for Ghost Crier and I thought I'd just do a quick video to introduce myself, let you guys know a little bit about me. Um, I have been investigating with the Ghost Crier team for just under a year at this point, but I only officially joined the team a couple months ago. And I came on as um, not only an investigator, but as an event coordinator. So what I'm doing is helping them with their public events, public appearances, um, getting those things arranged, those super fun events that we host all the time that, uh, you know, we open up to the public, take you into fun, cool places to do investigations, teach you guys about the equipment and stuff. So those are the type of events that I'll be helping with as the coordinator. Um, <clears throat> wanted to talk a little bit about what I am able to bring to the team um, for quite a while. It's primarily been Nick and Aaron doing all the investigations, so um, obviously the GC boys have been running this for quite a bit, and now they're going to add a girl into the mix. Um, that can bring an interesting perspective. You know, girls obviously look at things different than guys do, and um, the other aspect of it is sometimes when you're in locations, the spirits can be more, <clears throat> excuse me, more comfortable or more drawn to a female so having a female on the investigation with them could help potentially bring about more interaction um, that's the good side of it the bad side of it is we can also be used as trigger objects so if we go into a location where um, maybe there's a spirit that uh, wasn't real fond of females doesn't like a female in his area touching his face you know then I can go into that area and see if we can't get a reaction out of the spirit um, the other area that I've seen in the past um, for investigations and having a female along is it will often increase the contact that you get with um, children spirits. They are just naturally more drawn to females, the motherly type figures. So, um, I have been doing paranormal investigations um, for over 20 years. I have not been doing them as professionally as maybe Nick and Aaron have, but um, I've been doing public events as well and um, doing it more professionally, I would say, for probably, I would guess, maybe the last 10 years. Um, I'd have to stop and think how long it's really been. But um, one of the other aspects that I bring to the team and probably one of the bigger things that I bring to the team um, is... Uh, Nick and Aaron have always done their investigations on a very scientific basis. They've always made sure that they had their um, camera roll cameras rolling, their audio rolling, you know, trying to get that proof, get everything, make sure there's no possible explanation for everything. So it's very straightforward and scientific. Um, so that, that last year that I've been investigating them was kind of a... a trial period for both of us to get used to each other because I am a psychic medium. So I bring um, a different viewpoint to the investigations. Now, don't get me wrong, I 100% agree and support and think we need to have the scientific side of the investigations as well. Um, even when I am using my intuition, I like to have that scientific uh, stuff going in the background, the audios, the cameras, everything else because it helps validate some of the things that we're getting. But um, as a psychic medium, I'm able to go into the locations and get more of an intuitive feel for the location. So um, just a, a little bit about me quick. Um, I am an empath. And so what that means is that when I go into locations, I can pick up um, the feelings of other people and it can be emotional feelings, mental feelings, um, physical feelings, you know, so if I walk into a location where somebody um, potentially died of a heart attack, I might get pain in my chest or pain in my arm. Um, but I'll also pick up, you know, if it was a place of sadness or happiness, that's the empath. Um, a lot of people have empathic abilities, so that's not that unusual. Um, I, uh, my primary ability, I would say, is claircognizance. It's just the sense of knowing things. When I go into a location, I just start knowing things about that location. And part of what I do um, to help support the, the feelings that I get, the messages that I'm receiving, because 
I should back up and say, you know, I'm fully aware that uh, intuition is a harder thing to prove and uh, they have not yet scientifically been able to say without doubt that there's something really to this. Um, and so part of what I'm hoping is not only can I bring just kind of a different viewpoint to the investigations and potentially help with more interaction, I'm hoping that we can help prove that there is more to intuition because we'll be able to see what did I get during the investigations and what did we get scientifically through recordings, through audio that we can use to back that up. And, you know, it's going to be that consistent validation, that consistent, um, just showing that it's more than coincidence, you know? Um, so when we go into a location, a lot of times what I like to do is, um, oftentimes the owner or whoever is letting us into the building will want to give us some of the background of the building. They'll want to give us some of the history of the location. And I purposely make sure that I'm not on those tours. I'm not part of those conversations because I don't ever want anybody to assume that I was fed information. So I will leave during history tours. I will leave during presentations from the owners and I will do a blind walkthrough of the location and, um, you know, just take notes or whether it's through video recording or actually writing down notes. What are my impressions? What feelings am I getting from this room, from that room? What spirits am I sensing? Um, male, female, young, old, write down that, it, that information. And then later during the investigation, we can see if that information ties into um, some of the things that we were able to capture throughout the night and some of the, the experiences that other people have reported from that location or that the historically um, has been recorded for those locations. Um, the, the video hasn't been released yet, but the group actually went on an investigation to Melford Manor um, back in December, and that video is going to be coming soon. And um, you'll get an opportunity, I would think, to see my walkthrough of the building and my impressions and some of the things that I picked up on and then, um, you know, be able to tie that back to the history of the location. So um, it's interesting. I, I know what I can do, but when I when I started um, investigating with Ghost Crier, I actually wasn't planning on using my intuition. I was just planning on joining as a scientific investigator like they were. Um, but after conversations with Aaron, we thought that maybe it would be interesting to bring in this intuition side of thing. and. Um, I would say that that was Melbourne Manor was probably the first time that my team really got to see me fully investigate using my intuition and it was um, it was neat to see um, Nick and Jared's reaction to that too I think I kind of took him by surprise so um, but yeah so um, I made notes because that's what I do I'm the organizer and so yeah so I have to look at my notes because I can't remember anything to save my life. Um, so the other thing that um, I'm able to do is I am also a medium then. And what that means is that I am able to communicate with um, spirits who have passed and actually have conversations with them, just like I'd have a conversation with you or, or anybody who's still physically here. Um, it, uh, it's something that I'm a little cautious with when I'm, when I'm on a paranormal investigation because I want to make sure that it's still a controlled situation and that it's still a safe situation, not only for me, but for my entire team. Um, but I am able to, when I sense that there's a spirit around, open up that line of communi communication and have conversations with them and potentially share some of the information. Um, again, on an investigation that we were on not that long ago, um, we, we encountered a spirit that had a pretty bad reputation and come to find out he was really just misunderstood. That doesn't mean that there wasn't some bad experiences. There were, but, um, he was just misunderstood, but without somebody being able to have that conversation with him, those things are hard to know. So, um, the, the medium side um, is probably going to be the funniest thing to watch on the videos that are going to be coming up. Um, when I am listening to a spirit talking, I find that I am often staring off into space. So I promise there's nothing medically wrong with me. 
Um, I'm only just a little bit crazy, but um, that has nothing to do with it. I just stare off into space when I'm listening to them, I find. Um, and then you'll probably hear some one-sided conversations and partial conversations. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll talk to the spirits out loud, but I don't always have to. I can talk to them telepathically as well. Um, so um, it, it's going to be interesting. It's, it's uh, definitely something to watch. I look like a crazy person, but, um, you know, but that's kind of what I'm hoping, um, that, that I, the ghost crier team can work to, to build is, um, not only, you know, help improve that there's life after death and that those, the spirits are still, still around, but, um, be able to prove that, Hey, maybe I'm not crazy. So, um, we, we've had that conversation more than once. So, um, yeah, um, I think that's really just all I wanted to share for this time around. I just wanted to do a real quick introduction, say hi. I know, um, for everybody who's been watching the videos, you probably see my face on the videos on and off, um, but I thought I'd do an, an official introduction. Um, I think I'm going to probably make a couple more videos coming up. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about um, how to use your intuition on investigations. So if you guys are, are out on a location, how can you use some of the things that you're sensing to further enhance your investigation? So that's one of the topics that I was thinking about um, talking about. And then um, I'll also do a real short video sometime here in the future just talking about some of the upcoming events that we have going on. Um, I know we've got uh, several public appearances coming up. We've got um, some public investigations with just the Ghost Crier teams planned, and then we have some with some um, um, other well-known names. So I'll share all that information here in another video soon. And thank you so much for all the support that you guys have always given to Ghost Crier. We truly, truly appreciate it. We are super excited for 2018. We've got a lot of cool things on the horizon. So stay tuned and thanks so much for your support. Ah, your brain must be on fire. Raise your spirit to the ghost crier. Slam the door, you're shaking scared. Live your life with so much fear. Wipe your eyes, hide your tears. Stop, let me make this clear. This about you and me.